corner eventually skipped all the way through. Now Biafania. And uh, a little bit of space here for Blanco. He's got in it around the back. Can he use it? Yes, he can. And Nias Golda is there to prod it home. They opened up FC Cincinnati, split them apart down the left-hand side. And Nias Golda was ruthless with his finish. One of the concerns for FC Cincinnati when you start making changes is that what had been such a good block, so organized, so tactically disciplined, now you have different players involved. Others start getting tired, no running with Sebastián Blanco, wide open, Cable Stanco just watching, and then just watching inside the 18 yard box because the plan has to come out for Blanco. Then you have Waston coming to the near post. You have a late reaction for Pedersen, so much so that Nias Gola is able to take a touch on the ball inside the six yard box, two touches, target goal post cam says goal, one nothing Portland. Yaroslav Nieskoda with his second goal for the Timbers and his second goal in successive games. The man who had led the league in Poland in scoring. 14 goals in 18 appearances for Legia Warsaw in the truncated season before the Timbers picked him up. Now, look at how uh, open Blanco got into a run by Sebastián Blanco. Caleb Stanco doesn't realize that Sebastián Blanco is there, and then that creates a series of decisions defensively in which all of them are late. We just mentioned the plan is late to come out. Giovanni Savarez is excited. Kendall Watson is late. And then Tom Pedersen is late. Everybody closing because somebody had to pick out the run of Sebastián Blanco. Caleb Stanco never saw it. By the time they tried to react, it was all too late for Cincinnati. Because out of penalty kicks. The Portland Timbers. Uh